jump right in and let's go ahead and talk about toxins, what toxins are and how we can reduce our toxic levels. Um, there's several different kinds of toxins around us. Um, our two main areas of concern are environmental and dietary. Environmental toxins are going to include BPAs in our plastic, mercury in our tooth fillings, there's lead, um, fluoride which is in um, our water and our toothpaste. And all these chemicals that we're ingesting all the time are keeping our body from working efficiently. There's also um, dietary toxins. Dietary toxins are something that we're taking in a whole lot of uh, because we are eating them. GMOs in our food, which we'll talk about, pesticides, uh, sugar, food dyes, uh, hormones and antibiotics, whether it be in your food or prescriptions that you might take. All these chemi chemicals damage our immune system, our endocrine system, um, and even our reproductive system. A few other areas of concern to think about are our beauty products that we're using. Skin is our largest organ with no filtration system. And so everything that you put on your body is going straight into your bloodstream. So let's think about it. If you were to go to Bath and Body Works and you get some French vanilla soap or some hand lotion, and we are just slathering ourselves up, so we smell so yummy, and the whole time we're putting that on our skin, it's getting into our bloodstream as well. And that is a chemical that our body is having to fight um, and is not able to work the way it should. These chemicals on our skin could potentially be worse than taking them internally because our skin doesn't have a filtration system. At least when you're taking something internally, you have the potential for your lungs and your um, liver and your kidneys to process and filter all of those chemicals that we're intaking. We need to make sure that we are using products that are paraben and phylate free. Um, paraben and phylates, those are chemicals that are in our products to, that are used as a preservative to increase the longevity of our products. And it causes havoc on our body. The good news is doTERRA has a product, um, the Virage System. The Virage System um, is an entire skincare line that is paraben and phylate free. Um, I started using this when it came out last October and I absolutely love it. It's changed my skin. Um, there's a cleanser, a toner, moisturizer, and a hydrating serum. Um, and I would encourage all of you to try the Virage skincare system if you're wanting to try to use natural products on your skin. Our last area of concern that we want to talk about is drugs and antibiotics. There's definitely a time and a place um, to go to the doctor, but as a culture what we're seeing is that we're running off to the doctor for a runny nose or if your child has had a fever for a couple of hours. We don't want to miss out on life. We don't want to miss our son's baseball game or um, a big project at work is due. We can't miss out on those things. And so what we're doing is we're just running off to the doctor when really um, we need to figure out what we can do to reduce our toxic load so that our bodies don't get ill. Let's look at our bodies like a bucket. Um, at birth, let's say that we don't have any toxins or any chemicals in our body, but that's not really not true. The environmental working group suggests that a baby is born with 287 chemicals in its body because of everything that the mother is consuming. Well, let's just think if your bucket is empty at birth, what happens at 7 years old or 22 or 56 or 89 when that bucket gets full of so many chemicals? It's got to overflow. So what does an overflowing bucket of chemicals look like? It happens in one of two ways. One, malignancy, which would be cancer and two, inflammatory conditions, including allergies, heart disease, autoimmune disease, diabetes. The great news is when we lower our toxicity levels, our health conditions improve dramatically.